Good afternoon guys, my name is Vindus Andar and welcome to Razor Light Entertainment Presents Grim Dawn. We are in, I think, part 18 or 19 now. And thank you so much guys for your support through this playthrough, we really appreciate it. And let's get on with it. So, Algrim has asked us to negotiate um, with these two guys, Haruv and Brother Moltaire, and we have to choose one of these guys to save and become our allies in battle. You call Algrim has asked to speak with the Order of Death's Vigil, so I have come before you. Okay. I have come to represent Kaiman's chosen, as the one you call Algram has requested. Piri and the Lightbringers, first among the gods, under his just rule of all order and balance. Okay. Alright, I think I've made my decision. Yeah. Okay, so we made some enemies that way too. Alright, so we finish with that. Oh wow, he has absolutely nothing to say after making us choose all that. He has nothing to say. Alright, fine. Very good. So let's take a look at the skills that we have to allot. We have 11. Oh my god! I haven't allotted any of my skill points for like three and a half levels? That is just odd. Very odd. Okay, anyway, let's do this, guys. Here we go. Last level, guys. We're gonna be master demolitionists after this one. Done. Done. We are kings. Okay, the big one. This is in the beginning. Yeah. This will this will append the big one shell to the mortar at the beginning. The first round every time you use the skill. So we'll put that in. Um I'm not interested in Termite Mines right now. Ulzian's chosen. See his blessings. Okay, reduces skill costs and also chance of cooldown. Pyromancy. Broken fragments and uh, more fire damage. Everything we like. Now, I've always wondered about these black cocktails. The stun chance as well. Huh. I think we've pretty much taken all the ones that we really want out here. Yeah, I want more AoE on my attacks as well, so let's do that. There we go. So we're set, guys. We are set. We have done an amazing job. We have created a master demolitionist. Well done.
couldn't have done it with you guys your support watching our videos we really like it we got one devotion point as well and we were you're doing the crabs thing here there we go wait what uh i'm sorry what is this supposed to be a barrier um not sure really yeah but we don't have that skill right we don't have that skill yet okay confirm change right guys so we are gonna be hitting more ascendancy points pretty soon and we are master demolitionists this basically means that we now have pretty much the highest amount of points we can get through one mastery and uh, a critical rate of 11.2 that seems to vary a little bit depending on where we are at the time okay let's get to it because we're just basically sitting here doing nothing let's go have any quests none all right we have a rift that leads to the rotting crop plants we need to finish that i also think we need to go north that's one thing that we have ignored for quite a while but anyway we'll explore the southern reaches here we'll see what we can bring um so without further ado uh, let's get to it i actually lost a bit of my movement bonus um you can actually see run speed is 130 because i changed equips We'll just get that back momentarily it's not a big loss but i'd still like to keep my you know i was uh, i was wondering contemplating releasing the pneumatic burst else but apparently depending on which uh, depending on which skill i have running which equipment i use that varies completely look at these fields very beautiful i like them so, I'll probably be keeping Pneumatic Burst for a while now. You know, I already explored this place, but the game still presents the Fog of War for a new session. Ah, is this where they want it? Is this where I have to clean out the farms or something? I wish the auto pickup would also control the movement of the car, uh, movement of the character. I was about to use the abbreviation car. It was like, just control the movement of the character for me. Makes things easier. More convenience. So we have become pretty powerful right now. I'm not sure if our attack speed has increased. Oh, it has. All right. So we're at 2.13 attacks per second. The maximum is 200 attacks. 200% attacks. From equip, skills, everything, we can't go faster than that. But I think that's... Yeah, 3, 4 attacks per second will be pretty acceptable. So guys, did you watch the final episode of Game of Thrones? Um, if you haven't watched it, wow. I mean, bittersweet ending, man. And I honestly felt, you know, I would echo a lot of people's uh, frustrations if they say they wanted a happier ending and stuff. But honestly, they have wrapped it up very well. I'm not going to discuss it immediately in this video in case you guys have not seen it. But... Um, if you haven't, please do. That last episode is pretty amazing, emotional. It keeps you gripped. It's pretty fabulous. Yeah. Anything there? Nope. I love the Granados, man. That's the skill I'm maxing out now. That's the priority we're gonna give. 
Uh, Granados first, and then Mortar seconds. Thank you. Oh, there's a cave. Look at that. I'm gonna find in here. I don't have any quests. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I spoke too soon. Who the hell are you? Callista. Huh. Ah, there we go. I kill this one the slow way? Or maybe not. Let's just do it. Yeah, I'm just pissed off that you. You decided to become a little girl to, you know. feeling like I don't know you know I'm not gonna be a nice guy when it comes to this particular game everything's dark and icky I'm just not confident you know being playing nice in this world so yeah yeah just just no just gonna go talk to those guys and I think we're done with the bottom part yeah we can keep going to the northern reaches but that was amazing wow oh thank you um yeah that's about as emotional as we're getting. And we're about to level up to 41. Then 9 levels to go, guys, for legendaries to start dropping. I'm, you know, I've enjoyed this game so much that I realize we're doing, like, part 18-something. And I just feel like, wow, it's not even an effort to play this game. It's incredible, and I love doing it for you guys. So please do subscribe to our channel, like our videos, um, like our Facebook page, and do keep joining us in the future. I'd we'll love to have you. In all our videos oh by the way guys for those of you asking about my time at Porsche we have not forgotten we are gonna be recording marathon sessions of my time at Porsche pretty soon Hey right, guys, I just got a message. Let me just. Oh, okay, nothing. Ah oh, man, I'm not really sure where we are. Okay, in here. What is that? Yeah, I just wish there was a way to highlight the objects on the ground so you know where the hell what you're walking into. 
I mean, I know you can highlight items, but the but the chests and all that, that's a completely different story. Hey, is this a secret area? No. No, 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 no. Here. Yeah. I find these ethereal farms a little bit... You know, these ethereal things a little bit funny. You know, I keep expecting an ethereal crystal and then get absolutely nothing. Um, Alright guys, we're level 41, and as promised, Granados. We're going to level these up to maximum. I'm going to do their... Um... Well, we'll probably do an Aura as well, while we're at it. But basically, we're going to level up the grenades to maximum, because that's really our main... Uh... That's our main damage output, you know, from the Granado. It just goes out there and destroys our enemies. So that's not something that I have any interest in neglecting. I do wish that there would be an area of effect boost for it, though. Oh look, a cave. We should be able to go in there, provided this actually works. There we go. Oh okay. He didn't he doesn't actually move in there. I thought he would. What is this? Oh, I think this is like this is like Durian's home in Act 2 of Diablo 2. Yeah, the Tal Rasha map, like it's, it's just, it's just a lot of insects. You know, Durian's map used to be, the, the Pyramid of Tal Rasha used to be my favorite part of Diablo 2. Like those pyramids were like the place I would look forward to when leveling, because I always knew you'd get a lot of levels there. I haven't even tried my new Granado yet. I'm just like shooting these guys. Because like, why the hell not? They're all dying. Yeah, it, you know, when it's so effective, it makes me wonder if I should just fix my aura skills. But no, Granados are very important in this game, especially for quick DPS. And quick DPS is survival, if you can. It's so good to see my uh, auras doing so much damage. Like, they, they just touch me and they die. Touch and fizzle. I wish we could, you know, blow up those rocks that are blocking the path. I wonder if you can in the expansions. Who knows? There was a gameplay, there was a set of gameplay videos of this that I saw, of Grim Dawn, that I saw with a... Uh, I don't know, was it a pyromancer, a magician, arcanist? That was actually pretty cool. But I honestly, I, I like our build better for just one reason. Uh, the speed is very consistent and we don't have to retreat too much. Maybe with bosses we do run around slightly, but we don't have to back off from a fight. Not so far though. I don't know about the expansions. When we eventually get there, that's going to be very interesting. Wait, isn't this... Oh, so it's more like a transport network. Let's go. You know what? I felt... Wait, this is... This is a level 2? Okay. Oh, I think this is where we... Okay, guys. I think this is the going to be the quest where we kill the queen. So, the Duma Petron is... Yeah, the Demopetron Queen is gonna be our Durian. Duriel, whatever his name was in Diablo 2. I think that's the setup. Oh man, look at him melt. This is so much fun. I'm pretty sure if I just walk by them, uh, those eggs will burst. Simply by virtue of my auras. Me. Yeah, well, I can't exactly. Oh yeah, they do burst. 
Yeah, that's like so much better. Look at that mobber go. Woohoo! I love the mortar. That's why I've made it my second priority for maxing. Because it just makes a lot of sense. The, the way that Mortar has helped me so many times in this game is incredible. It deserves its own special maxed out skill slot. Um, I've actually read somewhere that after level 50 you start getting like 2 skill points. Instead of the 3 you're getting right now. Which is interesting, but I would love to know the developer's logic behind that. Like why, why they made it that way. I'm sure we'll find out as we maybe in part 50, who knows. Ah, well, this tunnel is turning out to be fun. That skill's not ready. I love that Granado man. Um, gentlemen, where are we? Wait, I thought this would be swarming hatchery. Oh, it's just a hatchery. It's not the colony hive. Okay, let's go. I didn't imagine that this would be... Oh, hold on. Oh, so you're the Grand Vizier. Okay, so we gotta we gotta trap you, destroy you, and then take your key. The pheromone glands, right. We need two of these uh, to defeat, to enter the Queen's Lair. Oh, that's right. That's what it was. Why did we go to level two, then? Oh wow, both of them are here? That is just awesome, man. Yeah, we get both and we just basically walk into the hive and kill everybody. Yeah, that's the thing I love about this game is how seamless it is. Yeah, I don't even have to fight anybody. I just stand there looking busy and then everybody dies. Wow, we're already halfway through to level 42. I love the leveling in this game. You know what? I think the queen is here. We're gonna be pretty thorough. I'm gonna finish off everything. Let's go. Wow, they dragged a cow in here? That skill's not ready. Look at how quickly we're killing everything. That skill's not ready. Hmm. I can't wait to get a machine gun, man. That would be the most amazing thing in this game is a machine gun. That skill's not ready. Oh wow. Okay. So we entered this uh, shattering den this den tunnel, this section, but there don't seem to be any bosses in here, just lots of tunnels. Uh, 
I do appreciate the extra the the spikes and the components. Ser serrated spikes are basically my f treasured component in this game. They're pretty much used everywhere. Wait, 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 before we go to the Den of the Lost. Let's first explore everything. Yeah, we no, oh, no, 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 sheesh. I'm making a mis- I'm making so many mistakes here. Hold on. There was something. There you go. See, I, I didn't want to lose loot as much as possible. So we're done with this den. I don't know what the Den of the Lost is. Oh, there's a shrine here! Well, now I'm happy that we came. I am very happy that we came. That skill's not ready. I took care of that one. That skill's not ready. That's one of the reasons that I really like the skill, because um, I like Granado simply because of the amazing amounts of damage that it can throw at your face so quickly. You know, the other skills may be um, more convenient to use, but Granado just packs in a huge punch, whichever way you look at it. Let's select all of that and let's go get our skill. In devotion, we're going to get you. Thank you so much. Um, so this is basically a barrier of magic sword forces forms around you. Is this toggleable or what? Turn it off I can't do that yet. and turn it on again. Okay, so we got a second passive skill that would be second passive boost to one of our aura skills that should be of huge benefit to us down the line. I really want to make like 20 or 30... Um, skeleton keys and use that whenever I need it because as it stands there is a there is an ethereal rift that I did not do for obvious reasons I didn't have I had only like one key remaining when I got killed and now that I'm reaching a higher level it should be a lot easier to finish
Okay, there's gonna be a boss there. Uh, who are we supposed to kill in there? Oh yeah, the Queen's Lair. That's what it is. Alright guys, let's just finish this part here. To the Queen's Lair. Can we actually, do we have time in this video? Yes we do. Alright guys, let's do it. Uh, do we have space for loot? Yeah. Alright, we're good. Let's do this, guys. Is it gonna be a boss? Sealed by the Wazir. Oh, wow, that's like a cave inside a cave inside a cave. <sighs> oh, please don't tell me. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just kill all of these guys first. What is this? Yeah, it's probably the way outside. Right. That's what that's what you use after you're done killing everything. See, what I want to do is I want to basically cut out. The Queen's ability to summon reinforcements, which I believe will be in plenty regardless of what I do, but still, it's best to take some precautions. And the fact that her minions are level 43 means she's gonna be a little bit more than that at least. Uh, last couple of bosses that we've fought in these videos have been like four or five levels ahead of me, and the fighting has begun. That's the Queen, guys. Yeah, that's the queen right there. Oh, wow. I can't do that yet. 47! That's an upgrade. That skill's not ready. I can't do that yet. Man, that's why I like Renados. Look at the damage that they do. It's incredible. Is she dead? Holy crap! Get out, get out, get out, get out! Yeah! That skill's not ready. Ravana? Seriously? What is it with all the Indian references? Haha! <laughs> Very good. Now I'm not complaining, I'm just a little surprised. That skill's not ready. Good. Yeah, you're dead. You're like way dead, man. You're way dead. Yeah, I'm surprised all of this didn't just burst at once and send all her minions towards us. That is odd. Let's go. I don't, I'm not very fond of the night time in this game. And that, that's not because I'm scared of the dark or something. I just want very clearly visible, you know, goals and places to be to. And night times in this game can be brutal. Should be able to get that. Yep, there we go.
Yeah, I think guys we're done with the with the western areas. Yep, that's pretty much it. I think now we have to go back. Yeah. We're done here. Wow, 100%. I think now we got to go north. If I'm right, yeah, th th those would be the places that we have to explore. All right, guys, let's go back to town. Um, we still have time on this video. Oh, yeah, actually, just a little bit of time. That seems like a beautiful way to wrap it up. Sent the quests. I love how when we walk into the town, the knights, uh, the, the dark, the black legion suddenly... Powers of all its auras. It's like, hey, that hero dude's come back. Get ready to kill him. No, oh, we got an inv inventory back. That is so cool. Yeah, that's like so general, right? You may as well just say, well, you can just kill everything. That's nice too. Okay, you keep you keep thanking me for that. Why does your quest line was ah? I was looking. Oh, so this is your spot. Okay. Brother Miller's spot. I need to. Oh, boy. Yeah, some of these guys actually end up giving you uh, quests, which is pretty much why I end up talking to them inadvertently every single time. Um, can I please? Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, not for everybody. Just for select few. Yeah. What can I do for you? Speak to Brother Eluvius. I don't know who the hell Brother Eluvius is. Um, yeah. Oh, there he is. Sure. And while I really enjoy... Wait, what? Clear out, blood groove. Uh... Okay. Speak to Brother Eluvius. Who the hell is Brother Eluvius? Okay, I have no idea who the hell Eluvius is. And no no brother Eluvius here. Huh. What is the prophet's call? Speak to Brother Eluvius. Who the hell is Brother Eluvius, man? Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. That's basically Kaimon's dude. Okay, that would be in their house. Fine. That later. Friendly. Good. Does that mean we get new stuff? We can buy new stuff? Not enough reputation. How much more do you need? You okay. Yeah, I'm not selling these simply because I have no idea when I'm going to need a shit ton of them. Oh, look at that carbine of thunder. 
Is that like auto fire? No, 1.43. I really wonder how the big attack dudes are gonna be, like, the big attack speed rifles. I wonder if you get a machine gun. So many things to wonder. Pierce resistance. Oh, that's actually more. Physical damage. Yeah, I'll do. We'll remove that at Devil's Crossing. Can't do that here. 90. Too much physique, guys. Rare Ambulate. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is this? Powerful Elixir. Okay, more damage. Alright, well, I don't need that. I'm okay. Cool. Rare heavy helm. No. Uh, Aldrin. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. This is gonna be 43. We'll probably get a. What is this? Blunderbuss. 39. Oh, that's a lot of damage, man. I didn't expect we were gonna get a pretty good gun like this so soon, but this is. It's good. Alright, so this is our third inventory slot. Okay, guys, so what we need to do is. You know what? I would love to. Yeah, I know about the resistance here, but I would love to have more aether resistance. That's about yeah, that's this one. Um partial component sanctify bone. Tell me what? Tell me what you guys have in stock here. Wait, you have a gun that's better than mine? 79 240 Okay, pretty much the same attack speed, more armor piercing. Oh, that's good to know. But I'll need an overwhelming majority to even think about it. Like, look at the look at the min-max damage. This is like 26 to 327 on my right, and on my left. And on the right, the one that I've currently equipped gives me 115, 140. Oh, I don't know which one is more preferable. I'm gonna buy all the scrap. Makes sense to do so. I'm also, guys, gonna check out the scrap dealers down here. Because they, yeah, knew it. Just buy these. These are components that we can use. Doesn't cost an arm and a leg either. There we go. Um, okay. Yeah, I haven't changed my app apps and everything in a very long time. But there's a reason for that. I already got amazing ones. Okay, now the problem here is in Devil's Crossing we have the inventor. Here we do not. I really wonder if the game is going to um, make us choose between those two places. Like, do we support Devil's Crossing or do we support Homestead or something like that? In which case, I'm going Devil's Crossing, flat out. I'm just telling you guys right now. I'm not going to betray the Devil's Crossing at all. And I say that, I say that because, you know, we've done so much in Devil's Crossing and they seem to be the dudes taking survivors in and all that. Okay.
Uh, yeah, I still like that, guys. I do. Yep, yep, that's what I want. Huh. Alright, guys, we're out of time for this video, by the way. Um. I don't know what the hell those illusions are. They keep talking about illusions all the time. No idea, guys. Maybe, I don't know, down the road maybe we'll find something. Hey, everybody's changed. Whoa! 26, 327. What? How is that even possible? How is that plus 283 damage? Oh, the 327 makes up for a 22% armor piercing. I don't know. I'm going to consult. You know, I like the sound of that, but I'm going to go consult the Quartermaster first before we decide. Because we buy something and it ends up being crap. That is not a desirable um, outcome. Now let's see what you have. It's Nothing that I need. Uh, what about you, man? There are a few people I hold in heart. I hope you figure something out. Yeah. Food, for some reason, is a part of this. I don't know if it's like a joke or it's just... is put it in there, but it's certainly... Whoa, this is an upgrade. 27, 107. Okay, more fire damage. 41% converted to fire. Less attack speed, though. Now I'll pass. I'll pass. 262. Earthquake! Earthquake! But yeah, dudes, I need I need resistance to even think about that sort of a change. Alright, I think we're good, guys. Oh, wait, 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 devil's cover. Huh. No. And you don't have anything either, do you? No, no you don't. Storm's Edge is an axe. I did originally think it was something cool, but it's just an axe. Um, battle shield, adept's gloves, greaves. Now, sometimes I'm not sure which is the better one. Like, it should be in order, like, descending order of importance, right? Descending order of uh, level, at least. 8% uh, damage, 12%. What is this? Oh, okay. Random stats. Okay. Well, skeleton key. Awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. Now we can go back and do that dungeon. I'm so happy. Um, we're good, guys. We're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. So we're done for today. We finished a lot of quests. We did an amazing job. And we're going to go back and... And it continue blowing stuff up. Right now, we don't have any gun that's uh, good for us right now. Like, I don't think the Quartermaster had... Um, yeah, even in the respected, no. Yeah, there is one here, but that's a long way away. Alright, guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Windows Endar, and that was an amazing boss fight. Amazing, amazing level. It was really cool. And we have pretty much almost finished the first campaign of the game. We got... A few levels left to go, and I think that's going to happen pretty fast. So I will see you guys next time with more Grim Dawn. My name is Vindus Andar. Please like our Facebook page, um, like our videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll keep bringing you amazing content. Thank you all so much for joining us. God bless you all. Peace.